Hi friends, it's Miss Eladari again, and today we are going to do uh, building sight words with whatever objects you can find. So, I went through my house and I gathered whatever small objects, so I came up with beans, beads, buttons, and straws. I cut up straws and made little pieces. So, um, I'm going to show you the different ways you can build. So, using the sight word flashcards, uh, I'm doing LL words. So, our first word is ball. B-A-L-L. -L. Ball. We were throwing the ball. And so I'm going to start with my little straws, and all you do is just lay the pieces over the word. The round parts are a little harder, and it's going to be a little blocky, but that's okay. We know what word it is. So B, A. B says B, A says A, L, 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 and then the other L. It's going to look kind of funny, but this helps a lot with the fine motor skills for the little ones, so you have the, the pinching of your fingers, building those muscles, helping them get prepared to hold the pencil. So, ball. Clean that up. Next word is will. So, there again, you have your LL. W I L L. Will. We will have fun today. Will. So I'm going to go ahead and use beans. The good thing about beans is you have these various or different sizes. I'm going to just go ahead and grab out a handful and get started. So W, 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 using those fine motor skills. Building my W. I'm going to go ahead and put one up here. I'm picking the tiny ones because my uh, words written on my note cards or my flashcards are pretty tiny. I. I says I. L. Ooh, L. L. And as I said, you're using those pincher fingers. It's good for your fine motor skills, building those muscles. An important thing about building your muscles in your in your hands is so that way you're able to grip that pencil, grip those scissors, those crayons, those markers, whenever you're ready for school. The other L. W I L L. Will. Clean these up. I will clean these up. The next word that we will be doing is call. C-A-L-L. -L, call. I will call you tomorrow on my phone. Call. And so I'm looking for the smaller buttons so that way they'll all fit. So using my fine motors, I'm going to cover the C. C says k, k. C. I don't know if y'all can, yeah, y'all can see that white one. Kind of blends in. I think it's a double sided. Yes. And buttons are fun because they come in different colors and sizes. Sometimes different shapes, but I, I want to use the round ones. 
A says A. Ah. Try to find all my tiny buttons for this letter since it's a round letter. My kids love working with buttons. This also helps a lot with letter formation so you get the feel of the direction and the shape of each letter. A, let me get the little tail on that A. And then the two L's at the end. L, L, L. Oh, not clear. I don't want to use clear. You can't see that very well. And then the other L. And you notice how I'm using my pincher fingers. I'm not scooping it up. I'm not using both hands to pick it up. I'm using my pincher fingers. Working those fine motor skills. This is good for any age. It's especially good for the smallest ones, like pre-K age. Call. Let me clean my buttons up. And our last word is all. A-L-L. -L. Oh, I ate all of my vegetables. So I'm going to use the beads. The beads will get a little messy. That's why I like buttons too, because they they have their flat edges. So I'll reach in and I'll start to get my beads. I like these little pony beads because they're flat. They don't roll as much as the the rounder beads. So like these these little pearl shaped ones, they roll pretty easily. Beads are also fun because they also come in different shapes, sizes, and colors as buttons do. But like I said, I prefer buttons because they have those flat sides. All of them are flat. Unless you get like a weird shape button. A says ah, ah, ah. It is our first letter of the alphabet. And it's the first letter of this word. And our word is all. Now the other two letters, L, L, L. L. So we're working on that little L, the first one. And it takes a while. It's nothing to rush and hurry with. It's just something to keep you busy. And for the little ones, it's fun because, I mean, look at all these fun colors. You can do patterns. So, like, green, blue, green, blue, green, blue, and green. So... This is just a fun way to practice your sight words, practice the letter formation, those fine motor skills. You could even do patterns like I just showed you. Okay, guys, thank y'all for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Be well, my friends.